Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, video, we will be discussing a Uber uh, problem statement that was asked in the Uber interview. So let's get started. So here is the problem statement where we need to find out uh, for each user that has taken at least two trips that what are the number of days between uh, his first uh, and the second trip. Uh, so the input table here will be just uh, your rider ID. It will just have two columns, your rider ID and your trip date. And if I have to solve this example here, so here we can see that, okay, there is this person called, uh, this rider called uh, Anar and he has uh, your uh, two trips. One is on 8th July, the second one is on 10th July. So we have the difference between the days is uh, 2, which is our output. So this is the input that we are looking at. And here we have on the right hand side, we have the output. So let's uh, start solving this. Before I tell you the approach, I want you to take a pause here and think that uh, how will you solve this problem. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and I'll tell you the clear steps in which you can approach this problem. So this is a five step problem. I've broken down the entire solution into uh, the five steps. So wherever uh, you see in the problem statement that it is mentioned that you need to get the first, the second, the second last, uh, the last three, the first two, or in all these cases, you need to find, uh, you need to create a column which is called your rank, which is basically rank. And here the rank column will be trip rank, which will tell us that uh, what is the, uh, what uh, is the rank of that particular trip. For example, here we have, this will be your Hanar's first trip and then at the bottom, this will be your Hanar's uh, second trip. Then once we have created this uh, rank column, then we will filter for uh, trip rank uh, less than equal to two so that we get the first true first uh, two uh, trips. After that, uh, we need to take a difference of the first uh, trip uh, date and the second trip date. So we can do that by simply creating a new column, which is my third step where I'll create, I'll use the lag function to create a previous trip date column. After that, I will be taking a difference of my trip date and my previous trip date. And there will be null, nulls in this data as my first uh, trip of every rider it will not have a previous trip and to so that after that I will be selecting only those cases where my uh, days gap is not null so that I get my rider ID and I get my days gap which is this output now let's try to implement this uh, solution through code we'll first start with the first two steps and we will not do everything at once so that it's easier for you to understand so here is here are the first two steps where uh, what we have done is we have created a rank column uh, partition by rider ID as for every rider ID the rank will reset and then we've ordered it by trip date so that we get the ranks in an ascending order and we've called this column trip rank and then we've also uh, used a subquery and we filtered for wherever trip rank is less than equal to two so that we get only the uh, uh, the first two trips of every user and here you can see we've uh, here is how our output looks like now we'll uh, do the steps three four and five so in this step uh, i have integrated the uh, three four and five steps in the same query i've written on top of that so we have step one and two then we have a step three where i have created a lag uh, column for trip date and i have called it previous trip date again it's a uh, partition by rider id because we'll need the lag column to be reset for every uh, uh, rider then in my fourth step i have used the date diff function and uh, took a difference between my previous trip date and my trip date and I i've called it days gap and then uh, in my uh, final step i have only selected my rider id and my days gap and then I, I have uh, given this condition that my days gap is not null so that I get my output of only your uh, rider ID and your uh, days gap column. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching.